question first find the value of the unknown x in the following diagrams so we have to find the value of this unknown x in all of these questions before solving these questions let us visit the concept so the new concept that you have learned in this exercise is that the total measure of the three angles of a triangle is 180 degrees so it means that a triangle has three internal angles internal because these points lie inside the triangle now when you add them all it gives you 180 degrees or an angle equal to measure of a linear pair and we can prove it using our previous learned concepts so if you observe here angle 4 is your external angle why it is an external angle it is an external angle because it is alternate to one of the vertex of this triangle and these make linear pair you have learned this in your previous exercise also you have learned that this angle 4 is equal to sum of angle 1 and angle 2 that is because the previous theorem says that the external angle of a triangle is equal to sum of opposite interior angles so we can say that angle 4 is equal to angle 1 plus angle 2 by exterior angle property then what will be angle 3 angle 3 will be equal to 180 minus angle 4 isn't it because it makes a linear pair and the sum is supplementary learning trick as comes after therefore sum is 180 degrees therefore we can say that angle 1 plus angle 2 plus angle 3 is equal to angle 4 plus angle 3 because angle 4 is equal to angle 1 and angle 2 so the same has been displayed here and we know this sums to 180 degrees what does it mean it means that angle 1 angle 2 and angle 3 adds up to 180 degrees hence proved and now we solve our questions so we have to find the value of x that is internal angle in all these questions so this three angles will add up to 180 degrees angle a angle b angle c is 180 degrees now angle a is not given to you so it is given to you as x b is 50 c is 60 degrees equals 180 you add them up and transpose the sum towards right hand side adding gives you 110 or you can individually get them to right hand side that is transpose them towards right hand side minus 50 minus 60 add them up 110 180 minus 110 is 70 degrees so x is your 70 degrees using total measure of three angles of a triangle is 180 degree property second here angle r is unknown and what is this angle we have told it earlier wherever this square is represented as an angle it is 90 degrees now x plus 30 plus 90 degrees gives you 180 x will be equal to 180 minus the sum of this angle 90 plus 30 that is 120 so x is your 60 degrees third part again unknown is x that is angle z you add them up 110 plus 30 is 140 when you add it to x that gives you 180 degrees transpose 140 towards right hand side it gets subtracted 180 minus 140 is 40 degrees therefore x equals 40 degrees fourth part 50 plus x plus x these two angles are equal therefore they are represented with the same variable that is small x variables are represented by small letters so you can infer from this diagram that this triangle is an isosceles triangle having two base angles equal and these sides will also be equal so you can simply add it x plus x plus 50 will give you 180 that is three angle sum property of a triangle equals 180 degrees 2x plus 50 equals 180 degrees 2x equals 50 transpose towards right hand side so 180 minus 50 is 130 x will be half of it dividing by 2 getting rid of this 2 separating x so 65 into 2 is 130 that is measure of this angle x that's fourth fifth here you observe that this is an equilateral triangle having all three sides equal 
all three angles equal and you also know that equilateral triangle has each angle equal to 60 degree algebraically you can solve it 3x equals 180 degrees because all angles adds up to 180 degrees x will be dividing by 3 on both sides x separated 63 is a 180 last part here again representation with square box means 90 degrees add x plus 2x to it give you 180 degrees 2x plus x adds up to 3x 90 as it is equals 180 degrees transposing 90 towards right hand side 3x equals 180 minus 90 is your 90 degrees now getting rid of this 3 dividing on both sides with 3 x equals 30 degrees because 33 is a 90 degrees so this is your 30 this will be your 30 into 2 is 60 degrees and this will be your 90 degrees that was your last part of this question number first Question number second. Find the values of the unknowns x and y in the following diagrams. In this case, we have to find two variables, namely x and y, using the same properties. In this question, we have to find value of two unknowns, namely x and y. By using the same concept that the sum of all the three angles, all the three internal angles of a triangle adds up to 180 degrees. Now, here we go. If you observe, in this question, we'll have to use two concepts. That is, one is of external angle and one of addition of three angles makes 180 degrees. So first of all, let's find y. What will be your y? Since this makes linear pair angle, that is sum should be 180 degrees. 120 is given. If you subtract 120 from 180, we'll get y. The same has been done. y equals 180 minus 120. y equals 60 degrees. So we have found this is 60 degree. Now we can use the latest property that we learned in this chapter. That is addition of three angles will give you 180 degrees. So 60 plus 50 plus X will be equal to 180 degrees. It doesn't matter wherever you write first because addition is commutative in nature. It can change its position without changing its value. Now X equals add them up. It is 110. Transpose it towards right hand side. 180 minus 110 gives you. 70 degrees. So x is 70 degrees, y is 60 degrees. In this way, we will do rest of our questions. Now here straight away has been formed. So it is vertically angle opposite. Remember one thing has to be kept in mind. It is not the external angle. You cannot use this property as like 80 equals 50 plus x because there was one condition when we learned exterior angle property. No doubt that this angle is connected to the vertex, but it should be alternate as well. Now what is alternate? Alternate is the angle must have a common vertex. Well, it has common vertex that is 80 degree and this angle Y. They must have a common arm. Well, they don't have a common arm. That's why this criteria fails here and it is not the external angle. That makes the difference. And even though third criteria is same, that they must not have same internal points well yes they don't have internal points but their common arm property phase therefore it is not an exterior angle so be aware of this so we have found y equals 80 degrees vertically opposite angle now this is 80 we can find one unknown by doing 80 plus 50 plus x equals 180 degrees that is some property of a triangle now you add them up 8 plus 5 is 13 fix 0 to it plus x equals 180 as it is, transpose 130 towards right hand side, x equals 180 minus 130 gives you 50 degrees. So x is your 50 degrees, y is your 80 degrees and that's your second. Now here in third part, this is external angle because it follows alternate angle property as well. Whereas this was not and the same has been defined why it is not your external angle. So be extra cautious about it. They will make linear pair but we cannot solve them until we get any one's value. Now first we will try to find the value of x. x will be equal to sum of opposite angles 50 plus 60. So 110. Simple. Now we found the value equals to 110. There are many ways to solve this question. Why? If we try to find first of all y we can do that also. That is 180 minus 50 plus 60 will also give you. But we have used another approach. Now we have to find value of y. 
what will be y this is 110 this makes linear pair so it will be 180 minus 110 simple y equals 70 degrees that is your third fourth now here be extra cautious again it is not your external angle so you cannot use the property as 60 equals 30 plus y because the same has been told here why it is not an external angle because it does not follow your alternate angle property but it is an x formation two lines cutting or two lines intersecting at a point so x will be your 60 degrees simple vertically opposite angles we found this 60 we add 30 to it we add y because all measures to 180 degrees y equals 60 plus 30 is 90 transpose it towards right hand side 180 minus 90 y is equal to 90 degrees so it is 90 30 and 60 that is your fourth again in fifth be extra cautious it is not your external angle so you cannot say that 2x equals 90 degree that would be your wrong whereas you can say that angle x is formed here that is x formation is happening here so it is vertically opposite angle two lines intersecting at a point makes vertically opposite angles angle y is 90 straight away now y plus x plus x or you can say 2x plus y will add up to 180 degrees because internal angle property all the three angles adds up to 180 degrees now 2x equals transpose 90 towards right hand side 180 minus 90 degrees 2x equals 90 degrees and x will be half of it x separated 45 degrees so 45 45 and this is your 90 it makes your isosceles triangle having two base angles equal and two sides equal as well sixth part here we are not given with any actual values of angles but if you watch it carefully x x and x what does it mean it means that this is same angles if it is 60 it will be 60 it will be 60 if it is 30 it will be 30 it will be 30 so this is more logical rather than theoretical this question checks your concept whether you have understood the concept or not so x formation here this will be your this internal angle will be your x as well and this will be also your x because again formation x so we got x x that is same angle now here if you observe that again x formation is happening so y will be equal to x the same has been written here y equals x so what we got from this x x and x 3x equals 180 and all the three angles are equal in only one case if it is an equilateral triangle well algebraically you can do it as 3x equals 180 degrees and getting rid of this 3 dividing by 3 on both sides x equals 60 degree it is equilateral triangle having all the three angles equal and all the three sides equal as well so this was your sixth and that was your last question question number second